This had better be important. Zed knew it wouldn't be, though. It never was. He plucked his way dutifully up the rungs of the swaying rope ladder. After all, he had agreed to the pact, and that was that. If either of them called a meeting, for any reason, the other was honor-bound to attend. Even if it meant putting down your book right when you were getting to the good part. <sighs> Sometimes it hurt to have principles. All right, I'm here, he grumbled, hoisting himself onto the weathered slats of the treehouse floor and extracting his official meeting notebook from his pocket. What's so urgent it couldn't wait until I hit a chapter break? I think I've figured out who the Sunset Tower's bomber is, but now I'm going to have to reread that last. This is much more important than your silly book, his sister scoffed. We have a real mystery on our hands. Prepare to take some serious notes. You are not going to want to miss the grade A prime evidence I've got lined up. Not again, he groaned. For the last time, Tuesday, we were not adopted. And even if we were, which obviously we weren't, that's not a problem. And Mom and Dad wouldn't hide it from us. Zed slumped back against the guardrail and settled in. Might as well get comfortable. This was going to take a while. It always did when she got on a roll. Tuesday flung a Pop-Tart at him like a Frisbee and smirked as he caught it, mostly to prevent it from colliding with his face. Can't argue when you're chewing, she said. I've got it all figured out this time, really. Just listen. Zed nibbled off the corners in sullen silence while his sister launched into her prepared speech. He allowed the words to wash over his ears without fully making contact with his brain like a stream slipping around a submerged stone. It wasn't really her fault, he thought, nodding along to Tuesday's feverish explanations. Maybe she could have made her peace with their parents' eccentricities if it hadn't been for her name. He suspected Tuesday was secretly rather fond of her first name, Unusual, to be sure, but it had a certain quirky appeal. June was a solid traditional choice for a middle name. Tuesday June rolled off the tongue rather nicely. But making her way through life with a name like Tuesday June 1st, especially when she had been born on Saturday, March 11th, was apparently more than his sister could bear. Zed was, naturally, sworn to silence on this point. Tuesday claimed she was only two years old when she first realized there was anything humorous about her particular assortment of names and had devoted the entire decade that followed to keeping the middle one a secret. 